Are you an e-commerce store using Klaviyo for your email marketing? Have you been getting frustrated with having the double opt-in subscriber confirmation turned on by default? Well, then you're in the right place because today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to turn off that double opt-in option that's turned on by default in Klaviyo. And we're also gonna talk about the pros and cons of a double opt-in versus single opt-in. We're gonna talk about what they are, what does it mean, and how does it affect you as an email marketer? While there's definitely some benefits to having a single opt-in, there are some responsibilities that come with it. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about before you go turning off that double opt-in. You definitely wanna watch this video and make sure you know what you're doing and make sure you know what you have to do to make sure you're still considered a healthy, responsible, and quality, reliable email marketer. So after you've watched this video, be sure to hit the like or subscribe button if you found it useful. And that way you'll be able to stay up to date on any more of the Klaviyo email marketing strategies for your e-commerce store that I have. All right, so let's begin. So inside your Klaviyo account, I'm inside of a demo account right now. Just to give you an example of what that double opt-in is, it is you can customize your double opt-in, um, your double opt-in email that goes out to subscribers. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a tour here. Within your list and segments in Klaviyo, now I have a master list. Everyone should have a master list. Um, I have a video talking about importance of having a master list and just having all of your subscribers come into one list as opposed to 18 different lists that people are coming into that's another video you can have a look at that I'll leave the link to that video in the description here but inside my master list you can you can um, you can customize your subscribe and preferences page so down here if I went here there's a couple of things that happen there's the subscribe page and this is the actual page if you're using uh, on page subscribe page with Klaviyo, this is what they'll see. If you're using an external form, or Klaviyo sign up forms or a third party tool, you do not have to even customize this. But what you do want to probably customize is that confirm your email. If um, after they send their email, they'll get this notification, you can customize that and add your logo. The other thing, and this is actually what your subscribers will see, is this email confirmation. After they sign up for your list on a form, they're gonna get an email that is queued up with your logo and everything, but it's gonna have this button that they actually have to click through and say, yes, they wanna subscribe. If they don't click, if they don't open that email and click this button, they won't get on your list. Doesn't matter how many, sign, how many forms they signed up for, where they signed up for it, if they do not click confirm, they do not get on your list. And what, that ha what happens there is that there actually ends up being a drop in the number of subscribers who sign up to your list. So, and usually I see that drop, I've seen it be pretty hefty, about 50% reduction in your list growth because, and there's many reasons why. Um, some people just actually forget to open that email, they don't look at it. It's rare, you know, most clients say, well, does it go to spam, does this email go to spam? But actually, it's really rare that this email will go to spam because it is one of the most uh, secure emails within a whole ecosystem that all the providers make sure, and the Googles, the Yahoo's, Hotmail's, whatever, whatever inbox providers anyone is using, they make sure that this email ends up in the inbox. So that way the person can click on it. If the person doesn't click on it, they don't end up in your list. And that's what a double opt-in double opt is, basically. First they sign up for your form, then they confirm. Now, it's not mandatory that there's a double opt-in. Um, at least in the US, it's not mandatory, at least not at this moment. So you can go to single sign-on. You just have to turn that on, turn that on as a default. Um, so I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna show you where to do that um, at the end of this video. But what I wanna talk about first, let's just go ahead and talk about the definitions of double opt-in and single opt-in. So double opt-in, simply what it is. A double opt-in is a feature within your email marketing platform that helps double verify whether a person wanted to subscribe or not. So again, they have to click that button in order to get on your list. If they don't click that button, they're not on your list. There's some pros and cons about the double opt-in. The pros about the double opt-in, what I like about it, if someone has a typo in their email address, 
they, you know, we all type fast, maybe we're typing on our mobile phone. If we type in our email address wrong, we will not get this confirmation email. And because there was a, there was a, there was a notice after we signed up that says, hey, you're gonna receive an email, please confirm that email. You as the new subscriber, if you don't receive that email, you're gonna know something is wrong. So if you get a double opt-in, you can go ahead and click yes, please, please confirm that I wanna be on this list and my email is correct and you know everything is correct, so you're gonna get on that list. So typos are, it's definitely pretty common to get a lot of typos in um, email addresses. Um, the other thing that's pretty common is spammers. Um, really depends on your business, where you're getting your traffic from and everything like that. Um, I've seen some, some instances where spam rates are really high or spammers, spam signups are really high. I've seen other instances where they're not as high. So it really depends, but a confirmation email can help prevent that. Um, it can also help prevent people who are just giving you their like trash email, their junk email, the email that they never check. You don't want that email address. Yeah, they're gonna get their coupon maybe for 20% off and that's why they gave it to you. Uh, and maybe they check that email once and they get their coupon, but they never check it again. Them never checking their email again and never opening that email from you again when you send in the future is actually gonna hurt your reputation. So you don't want those people who are giving junk email addresses and you definitely don't want that email inbox that's never checked. Um, and then this is a really core reason for the double opt-in is people who sign up for a newsletter and really want to get that newsletter are going to look for that confirmation email. They're gonna write to your customer service if they don't get that confirmation email. So the I have a theory that the most engaged people will click, will look for and click on that confirmation email and you want those people. So that is one of the core key benefits of the double opt-in is that you are getting the most engaged subscriber. So think about that when you're, you decide to maybe go single opt-in. Now the cons of double opt-in is of course, less email addresses collected. Like I said, a 50% reduction just about in email addresses. And then people also ignore those emails. So it's, it's kind of, it's, you know, there's, it's good and bad. There's innocent people who are actually ignoring it. And then there's just like, you know, people who are just like, oh, I forgot to check it. So there's, there's pros and cons to that. Um, so that's double opt-in. Now let's talk about quickly the single opt-in. So if you decide to go to single opt-in, what single opt-in is simply means anyone who signs up for your form, your list on your website, they're gonna go straight in, they're gonna get the first email that goes out, whatever that email is, whatever you set up for them to get. So um, if they gave you a wrong email address, that wrong email address is gonna get the email that went out. If they are a spammer, of course that email's gonna go. If they gave you their junk email inbox, your first email is gonna go to that junk email inbox that they never check. So lots of problems that happen there. And the, so let's go into the pros and cons of it. So obviously the pros of a single opt-in, you're gonna get all the emails that you should be getting. So there's not gonna really be a reduction. You're just gonna have some errors probably or some spammers, but there's not gonna be a reduction in the number of emails you collect. The cons are you have a higher chance of getting um, emails from spam, um, email addresses from spammers, so which means your spam rate may go up. And the other con is, and this is more of the kind of danger con, is those, those bad email addresses, the, the innocent people who are just typing in their email addresses wrong, those are gonna lead to bounce rates because if there's, we, we never find out that they gave us the wrong email address and then they never, they didn't think about it, they didn't write you back to tell you or even whatever, they are not gonna get those email addresses. Those, the emails that you send are gonna go to the bad email and it's gonna cause bounce rates and you do not want high bounce rates, especially from your new coming, you know, your new list, the list that you're growing. So that's the problem with the single opt-in. Um, and that's why I say it comes with a lot of responsibilities. So what those responsibilities are, we're gonna actually talk about and we're gonna talk about how do you mitigate from getting, um, you know, moving over to a single opt-in and getting to be, you know, making sure that your list is still up. So it comes with two things. So whenever you move to single opt-in, um, there are two things that you should do. But first, let me actually show you where in Clavio you should go to turn off your single opt-in. So when you're in Clavio, you're gonna go over here to list and segments. And then you're gonna type in the list, whatever newsletter list, it might be newsletter, whatever you named your 
newsletter list. In my case, mine is called master list. I'm going to click on that master list. And then in the settings area over here, it's all you have to do is go to settings and then right here in this area, opt in process. And you can, you should definitely read over these just so you can understand. I'm going to talk about list cleaning in a second. And then you want to click on, you want to move it from double opt in to single opt in. And then you're going to hit update. Okay. And that's all you have to do. Once you do that, everyone's going to go into that list. So what do I recommend you do once you move over to single opt in? Well, first thing I recommend you do if you don't have this already is set up a welcome series. A welcome series, it does a couple of things. And actually I'm gonna say, you're gonna set up a welcome series with seven plus emails. I'll, I'll actually, I'm gonna go down a little bit. I'm a, I don't wanna be that aggressive. Five plus emails in that welcome series. So the reason for that is, is the reason why I like to have five plus emails in a welcome series is because you give, and, and here's my tip too, is don't spread those emails too far apart. So the delay should be a day maximum two, max stretch is three. And the reason why you want that is because that person just signed up for your list. Hopefully they gave you the right email address. If they get an email immediately, they should hopefully probably open that email, and they probably are because maybe there's a coupon in that email or something that they signed up for is in that email. And then the next day they'll get another email and the next day they'll get another email. And then for the next basically seven days, they're going to get an email from you. If that person does not want to hear from you, or if they're just like, oh, this is too many emails, they will unsubscribe. They should unsubscribe. The other thing that you want to do when you have a single opt-in, I'm going to go back over there where you saw Clavio's instructions for if you do do the single opt-in is list cleaning. So I'll drop this link in the description. You should definitely read on this link. But what I recommend you do, and I'll do another series on this, on how to clean your list and how to set up a regular, regularly scheduled list cleaning, is you wanna set up a list cleaning, cleaning, cleaning schedule. And I would say minimum once a year, a good way to do it is twice a year. Um, there are some people who do it quarterly, if that makes sense for your brand. But do list cleaning at least some kind of periodical schedule because what list cleaning is gonna do are those people who just have not opened your email in let's say in a year, in six months, whatever your criteria is, then you are gonna purge them out. You're gonna delete them out of your list. And the reason why you want that is because you don't want, they're not opening your emails anyways. So yes, you're gonna reduce your list, but you're reducing it from bad quality people. So um, that's what I recommend you do. So I recommend you, if you decide, hey, single opt-in is the way I should go, go to single opt-in, but then the next thing you wanna do is make sure you have a welcome series on that has at least five emails in it, and then make sure you have a list cleaning schedule on. So look out for one of my future videos on talking about list cleaning and how you should set that up and what you should do and you know how to get that process going. I'll go ahead and publish that. If you like or subscribe, well, if you like this video, please do, so that way I know it was beneficial for you. But subscribe to my channel and you'll get a notification when that next video is up about list, um, list cleaning. All right, so hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions, just drop, uh, drop them in the comments section and I'll try to answer them there. All right, thanks.